Have you been thinking about a move to the Myrtle Beach area but are concerned about the housing market crashing? With the news and the headlines that you see today, you would think that the housing market is going to crash throughout the entire country. While I can't speak to every market in the country, I do have the most up-to-date data and facts for the Myrtle Beach housing market, and I'm going to share that information with you today. I'm James Brophy. I'm a realtor and lifelong resident of the Myrtle Beach area. I love telling people how great it is living here in coastal South Carolina. My local knowledge and insights come from living here for over 50 years. Adding real-time market data to this local knowledge allows me to provide clients with information and details they need to make the very best decisions when buying and selling homes. If I can help you, just reach out. I'd be, I would really love to speak with you. All my details are in the description below. You can send me a text or an email or let's just schedule a call. And while you're there, if you could leave me a brief comment and let me know where you're watching from, that would be great. So now let's get on to the numbers. Thanks. The first chart we're going to look at is total listing count. Now this is the active and pending listings in the market by month since the beginning of the year. And what you'll notice, there's been a steady increase in the number of listings coming to the market. Now this is great news for home buyers because there's more options for them to choose from. Sellers are starting to feel a little bit of a pinch because there's more competition out there. But overall, it's good that the inventory is increasing because we're moving more towards a balanced market uh, and away from the seller's market that we have experienced over the last couple of years. The next graph shows homes with price reductions. And you'll notice that there's been a steady increase in this number since the beginning of the year. What this indicates is sellers are having to adjust their expectation to the current market and meet the buyers where they are. Home buyers have the potential to find homes at a reduced price, which can help them greatly since affordability has been an issue with higher interest rates. Now let's take a look at the next chart, median days on market. Our next graph shows median days on market. So this is the number of days it takes from the listing date to the closing date. And since the beginning of the year, those number of days have actually been reduced, which indicates a healthy uh, market here in Myrtle Beach. It's good for both buyers and sellers for homes to come through uh, the market, you know, relatively quickly and, and at a steady, even pace. So we're seeing a, a balance, a balancing and stabilizing of the market here in Myrtle Beach, which is great news for everybody. Our next graph is median list price. And this one, you can see there's been some fluctuations in that number throughout the, uh, since the beginning of the year, which is an indication that the market is balancing itself out. It's not spiking way up. It's not dropping way down. It's trying to find that happy median. Now, I believe that you know throughout the rest of the year, we're gonna to continue to see a slight increase in prices over time, maybe three to 5%, but there's not gonna be a, an enormous spike. Uh, there's not gonna be a tremendous drop. It's gonna to continue just to slowly rise over the course of the year and into 2025. So looking at those charts and graphs, you can tell that the Myrtle Beach market is not crashing now or, or any time in the next several months. What it is doing is it's balancing itself out and stabilizing. We're, we're, we're moving to a, a slower pace of, of price increases. And as home inventory is increasing, it's moving us more into a balanced market and away from the seller's market that we've been in. Um, there is some discussion from the Fed that they might possibly reduce interest rates at some point later this year. That's definitely going to create some activity for buyers and sellers um, and, and maybe a, a slight uptick in pricing. But with the inventory growing, that, that should sort of offset itself. But if you are either buying or selling in the near future, you definitely want to kind of keep an eye on the market. It, it, it's moving up slightly, but not a dramatic shift coming anytime soon. If I can help you with any questions you may have about the market here in Myrtle Beach, please reach out. Again, all my details are in the uh, description below. I would really like to talk to you more about it. I'm James Brophy. Thanks for watching.